Hi guys, welcome. Please come and take a seat. Uh, I'm in charge on the ICU today, so um, we've got quite a few patients in. Um, uh, one's coming overnight from the A and E department. They've just brought him out of surgery. Let's have a look what they've said. Um, they've put a chest tube in, and they've said there's. 500 mils of blood come out from a haemothorax right that's in the last 12 hours um we'll need to call a respiratory therapist um it's ventilated and co2 levels have been taken um and they're decreasing which is good um so we'll probably be able to extubate that patient probably in the next 24 to 48 hours um only thing we've got to do is send him for a head CT because it looks like it's he or she sustained a head injury. Um we'll have to contact neurology, so can somebody page neurology and respiratory to come and have a look at this patient? Um thank you. Yeah, cheers. Um vitals just need taken and Nurses will draw blood gas and CBC. Uh, the other patient that was admitted overnight was, um, looks like an infection, uh, came to A&E and was showing signs of sepsis and septic shock. Uh, looks like they had a really bad case of endocarditis. Um, antibiotics were started looking at it. Um, but the patient collapsed and looks like he had a seizure um, and stopped breathing, so he's on a ventilator. Um, they did MRI scans and apparently they found brain abscesses on the brain, so um, they took him to surgery to have his valve replaced. It was the aortic valve that was infected, so they've, full, they've had to fully replace it. So. It's going to be sore for a couple of days. Uh, let's make sure we've got plenty of pain killers on hand for him. Yeah, for the minute um, we're just monitoring the sepsis and the pressure in the brain because um, they saw that his, his pressure in the brain was going up so it looks like he may need neurology to come and see him. We can start thinking about extubating once we've made an assessment, um, heart needs looking at every 30 to 60 minutes for the EKG. Brain, uh, brain function needs to be done with the electrodes every couple of hours. Uh, someone just needs to keep marking down on the chat, that's all I need. Um, so I will go and see these two patients. You guys go and do all your rounds. Um, I just need one nurse to do a... Uh, some blood gases and CBC for patient one and then patient two just needs cardiac enzymes doing and needs blood cultures doing just to make sure that the infection is clearing. Um, it will also help the lab to identify, probably it sounds like an, a virus that it was but they're not sure they, they need another set of blood cultures because yeah. Alright guys, thank you very much. You can all go off in the rounds. I will go and see these two patients. See you all in a bit. Bye. Hi, is this the patient from Amy with the collision? Right, I've got the right person then. Okay. Um, I've just come to get a set of vitals from them. Just perform a quick neuro exam and everything. So I'll just get my tools prepped. Okay. Um, yeah, they just want to. Neurologists need a and respiratory. Uh, excuse me, respiratory and uh, neurology just want a blood gas and a CBC just to see how the um, CO two levels are doing. They're also concerned about the pressure on the brain, which they've just contacted me about. So they need. Um, they need. Uh, the electrodes placing on um, we've contacted neurology but as of yet they've not showed up we're waiting, waiting for a registrar to come down so I don't know how long they're going to be 
yeah yeah if you just do that and i will be back in a sec because looks like i haven't got all my equipment here let me see if i can find it okay i found it all um yeah just get those blood glasses done for me and i'll be back How's the vitals doing? Right, okay, no problem, cheers. What's the chest drain like? Right, okay. Uh, there's better air entry on that side. Um, yeah, when's respiratory coming? Right, okay. Uh, it'll be their decision whether or not they need, they want the drain to stay in. They'll probably want some chest x-rays as well, so we'll have to get them. Um, Yeah, pupils are coming back all right. There's no signs of a blown pupil. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's pulse? Yeah, about 80. So heart rate's coming down significantly. Looking at the chart, yeah, it's coming down. Uh, blood pressure seems to be stabilizing. What's temperature? Have we got a temp? 35, right, okay, yeah, 37, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's see what else we need to do. Um, I know they've got this, this has got fracture to the left leg. What's the frac? Have they uh, repaired it or are they going for theatre to that? Right, okay, that's fine. Um, if there's nothing else, I'll leave you to do those uh, bloods for me and let me know when uh, neurology are on the way down. I imagine they'll be wanting to know when his brain pressure is coming down. So I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Okay, no problem. I will come back in a bit and see them. Okay, no problem. Cheers. I'll just write my notes up. Hey, is this patient two that came in last night? Yeah. Uh, have those blood pressures gone off yet? Okay, that's fine. What's his pulse? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, the ventilator might not be required. Um, neurology haven't come yet, but we might just need to keep an eye on the abscesses in the brain. We got a monitor on his um, brain activity. That's fine. Um, now, MRS, I'll put the question mark to MRI scan. Uh, I'll discuss it with the registrar when they come. Um, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like anything's a myth. I think they'll make a good recovery, but. Um,
yeah, hopefully we should be able to extubate soon. Let's hope. Mm, yeah, I mean, how long's he been in? They wouldn't have extra small. I can't get my freaking hands in them. I tell you, I can't get in. Mm. Yeah. Let's have a look at this suture line they've left on his chest. Oh, it's perfect. Um, let's have a look at the uh, results of the echo. Oh, wonderful! They're coming. They're coming down. Yeah, it seems to be. It seems to be stabilising. We might even be able to remove the ventilator today. But um, I'll wait, I might get respiratory, pick up a respiratory ring and just make sure that um, we can. He's not in any danger if we do it, it extubate him. Um, which valve was it he replaced? Aortic. And how are the blood cultures looking? Let's have a look. Looks like the white cell count's coming down, so they may have passed the infection, so that's wonderful. We might be able to. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, they seem to be fine, I reckon. Um, it doesn't look like the... Yeah. The MRI scan they took yesterday looked like they had brain, a lot of abscesses on the brain um, because the infected material had travelled in the bloodstream um, but it looks like um, neurology are going to have to come down and just assess his neurological function when he wakes up. Yeah. Yeah, his pulse is very strong. Even though his heart's just had quite a bit of surgery, but um, the aortic valve, yeah. Um, blood pressure seems to be fine. Temp? Okay. Um, yeah. It might be. What's his breathing trial looking like? Yeah, that's fine. Um, we should be able to extubate him soon. Uh, give it. Let's give it twelve hours, and unless he's and we'll do. Yeah, we'll reverse the sedation he's got. Um, yeah. Okay. No problem. Cheers. Um. Uh, did they put a drain in on the brain or did they just leave a monitor device in? They've just left a monitor device in, that's fine. I didn't think they'd put a drain in because uh, there's too many abscesses. Um, yeah, I will just contact them, neurology, and find out when they are coming down. Cardiology have said they'll come up every couple of hours to check on him, um, but I, I, in my opinion, I think we're probably getting towards the end of this infection. The antibiotics have kicked in quite soon. They were lucky to get him in time. Um, I'll leave you to it then. Yeah, no problem. That's fine. I'll write my notes up and then I'll come back in a bit and check on them. Is that alright with you? Thank you very much.